Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. My apologies last week for the lack of a video, mainly due to the lack of material to work with, but I'm now back with a new episode. And this week, Niantic has announced that the next Community Day will be Swablu, which will be on Saturday, May 15th, 2021, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And of course, you'll be able to get a shiny Swablu if you already didn't get one. And of course, like with previous Community Days, There will be a special research story. This one is called Cotton Winged Bird. And of course, it costs about $1 or equal equivalent depending on which part of the world you live in. And of course, also Mega Altaria will be making its raiding debut in Pokemon Go as well. So you'll be able to finally obtain Mega Altaria to add to your Mega Evolution collection in your Pokedex. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week, GoFest will be coming back. And of course, it will be held on July 17th through the 18th of 2021. As of this recording, no known details of whether it will be in person or be virtual like it was last year. And of course, some of the features of GoFest 2021 will include defeating Team Go Rocket. and other neat rewards. Also announced, Cenaris and Vianto, the mascots of Pokemon X and Y versions on the Nintendo 3DS, will be making their legendary raid debut in Pokemon Go in the month of May. And of course, Zanaris will appear in raids starting May 4th, 2021 to May 17th, 2021. Yuntol will make its debut in raids. May 18th to May 31st. And of course, also accompanying these two legendaries from, from Kalos, Spritzy, Swirlix, and Gumi will be making their debut into Pokemon Go as part of a fairy type Pokemon event which will start Saturday which of course is this weekend May 1st until next Sunday May 9th 2021 and of course this will also include Clawfa, Igglybuff, Azuril, and Gibble, as well as Swirlix and Spritzy hatching from 7k eggs. And Galarian Ponyta, Alolan Executor, will also be appearing in raids. And there will be event exclusive AR map task which of course, to get 
Galarian Ponyta as well. And of course, Team Go Rocket is finally back in Pokemon Go after Niantic had to temporarily remove all the grunts, the leaders, and Giovanni from the game due to glitches last week. Which of course they returned last week and now to make up for the lack of their absence, especially if you're completing all the level link up challenges, you're trying to make a certain goal by completing a certain task involving rocket grunts, well they're finally back. And the event I speak of will feature Shadow Zapdos when you defeat Giovanni on June 1st through June 17th. One more thing, I couldn't do the Friendship Day event because something was wrong with my camera and on top of that, it was a quick, easy collection challenge anyways. So I do apologize for that and the next video for Pokemon Go Play will be Swablu Community Day. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times, when heading out, wear a mask. When you're going in places that require you to wear a mask. Practice social distancing. Stay six feet apart. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Wash your hands. And get vaccinated when you're eligible to. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we will get through these dark times together.